What's up guys, this is Matt from Mentech for Geeks and today I will be replacing my faulty hard drive in my MacBook Pro. So recently my hard drive got messed up or to the point where I couldn't even use it anymore. Like my Windows would, my Mac slash Windows would freeze. I'd have to reset the computer, I'd get the three beeps and it wouldn't boot up. I'd have to like shake it, which I really don't want to, and then boot up. But now it has it has come time to replace my hard drive in my MacBook. So I filed a tutorial on ifixit.com and I'll be doing this without purchasing any tools from them. The hard drive that I bought is a Seagate laptop SSHD, which is like a SSD and a HDD, but with like faster speeds. It's a thousand gigabytes, meaning one terabyte. It's from Seagate, which my computer currently has Seagate, one terabyte hard drive, normal HDD. And I'll be using my amazing screw set from Home Depot to take off the MacBook cover and replace the hard drive. So let's begin. So first, you are going to have to flip the MacBook and unscrew each of these screws. So I'll speed this up in the video so you guys can see the process quicker. Okay, so I'm done. It's pretty weird how Apple gives you like three big screws and small screws. So on to the next step. You are going to have to take off the cover, which you can do from right over here. And for those people who do not know, this is inside of a MacBook. This is how the case cover looks like. I'll put this to the side. And the hard drive is right over here. So first, before you touch anything, you are going to have to unclip the power supply, which is right over here. And this is to prevent, you know, shocking or anything. I'm not using any other tools to prevent my hands from being shocked. So I will have to do this. I'm too scared to touch it just in case I might get shocked. I shouldn't be doing it this way. what's coming off so now it's off so I won't get shocked and set that aside and now we are going to pull out the hard drive so as you can see here we have the hard drive so now we're gonna to have to unscrew the hard drive from where it's being placed over here so there's four screws I think so we'll unscrew those right now. So now we can take this off. Set this aside. And unplug this, which is holding the hard drive. And voila, we have the hard drive out of the MacBook. That's, that's how it looks like. Actually, it's not from even Seagate. It's from Hitachi, whatever that's called. It's a SATA, one terabyte, two point inch. Just like the other one. Here's a comparison. I don't know how to compare them, but this one's faster and made by the better company. So that's how they look. They both have a SATA connection, which is right over here. So they're pretty much similar. So I think we're supposed to take off this because this helps uh, keep it easy to get out if you ever need to replace it. So now I can uh, place this on this one.
I, I forgot a step. You have to unscrew these four screws because they help hold the hard drive from, you know, falling apart or moving away. So I had to borrow a special screwdriver from somebody, which looks like this. And it will unscrew these screws. Or you could just buy from the iFixit website. And so now I have four screws on the side and I can use them for my new hard drive in order to hold them in place, in order to hold the hard drive in place, I mean. So now I have these things in here in order to seal in the hard drive so it doesn't move when I ever move the computer around. So now you just plug this in, make sure it's nice and straight, place it into the laptop. Make sure those fit in as well. Okay, they fit in. Now you have to screw in the black stuff. So that uh, keeps the hard drive from moving. So make sure you plug in back the power supply. And now you can put the case, the slash cover, whatever, back on. Now you can boot up your MacBook and see if the hard drive works. And also I'd like to note that uh, the hard drive isn't the other hard drive isn't fully messed up, so I will still be able to like transfer my games, applications, whatever. So I that's why I bought a USB 3.0 enclosure where you will put, put in your SATA hard drive and use it as a hard drive. the thing I bought it from Amazon I'll also put a link to it if you're interested it supports Linux OS X uh, Windows compatible and USB 3.0 and two there's also a 2.0 just in case you need to use that on a 2.0 computer so yeah let's see if the MacBook boots up at all I can plug, plug in the power back. So let's boot it up. So I only uh, transferred one partition to it, so I don't know if it'll work. So there's Macintosh HD. And now. I've replaced my hard drive and let's see if this successfully boots up. Use, I used a uh, disk utility to transfer my partition from the old one to the new one. And it has successfully booted. Because the screen like that. 
So thanks for watching guys. This was a tutorial how to change a hard drive in a MacBook Pro and thanks for watching.